Good morning. This week, well, last Sunday, our daughter and son-in-law came, and they dropped off their cat, Jack. And I, I am baby. We are babysitting Jack, and it spends most of the time daytime underneath my bed. It spends most of the night on top of my bed, but once in a while it comes out. It hisses at the dog occasionally, but it's never made it out to the kitchen yet. But when they came, they brought me some apricots. And when they brought them, this bowl was full, and I've got to get and do something with them because they're too much of a temptation for me to keep eating. And but there's something about fruit after it's cooked or whatever. It's not such a temptation for me to eat. There's not enough for a pie. There's hardly enough for a cobbler, but I'm going to try it. And uh, so we're going to make that. And I think because of the way I'm doing it, they also brought us some plums. And uh, I've never been a great plum eater. Tom loves them. And he made them into some sauce. And, and I did taste it because I wanted to know where I was at here with sweetness. It's quite tart. And so I know I'm going to have to put sugar with this. And uh, I don't know how much. But when you do use sugar, you always want to use cinnamon with it. There's something about cinnamon that, uh, I don't know if it changes the glycemic rate of how you absorb the cinnamon, uh, the sugar, or just what, but I just know it helps uh, with, it, it doesn't spike your sugar quite, your blood sugar quite as much. So, what I'm going to do, because there's only a layer on the bottom, uh, and this is going to be a fruit cobbler, I thought I would just spread some of this over the top and help, I think, when it bakes in the oven. In fact, I'm going to put it in the oven while I fix the rest of the, the cobbler biscuit. And it's just going to be biscuits on top. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so that's going to go in. And I am going to put sugar, and I think what I'll do is probably, and this is the last sugar I have in the house, so I better put it on my list. It looks like a heaping two tablespoons. You know what? That seems like a lot of sugar for this. I'm not going to put in. It's more like a scant two teaspoons. Okay. He, Tom can add sugar if it's not sweet enough. Okay, now the cinnamon I'm going to put on there. Okay, that's going to go into the oven right now and sort of warm and start cooking because the biscuits are not going to take that long to cook. So we're going to do that. Okay, and Jack, the cat, is a very pretty cat. I, I thought maybe it wasn't part Siamese, but I was really looking at it good last night. And, and it probably is. I, I know there's more than one kind of cat that has blue eyes, and Jack has nice colored eyes. And um, it's really my granddaughter's cat. It's Annie's cat. Okay. And... So it, it's not Siamese in that, well, it's got a little bit of its shape, but it's a big cat, and it's very, very pretty cat. 
Okay, I, I don't, yeah, I want to tear out this. And anyway, I've got all this flour I'm trying to use up, which came from my daughters, because they have switched over to whole grains, and she has a mill. But they try to eat, what am I looking for? Oh, just maybe this. So being that this is a ratio again, and it's a one, two, three ratio, just like the pie dough. Only this time, I'm doing it in ounces. It'll be the six ounce of flour. And um, this is, okay, it's a white whole wheat. And it's all organic, because that's what they buy. Okay, and I want six ounces, so I'm, I'm doing a mixture. And this is just a white all-purpose that's going to have less of that. And then the rest is going to be my eye corn. Which I want to switch over to completely. Okay. Now, I went a little too heavy. A little. Okay, still a little too heavy. A little light. Okay, I'm going to go let my dog out. I can hear it whining, and I think the neighbor's dog must be here. Okay, what do you see out there? Yeah. I'm not sure why she went out, but I'm back. And, uh, okay, we've got our six ounces of flour. And so the, the two part is going to be my buttermilk, which I'm out of buttermilk, so it's kefir. And so what I want to do is put in two ounces of the fat, which I'm using butter, and... A half a cube is four ounces. This, I've used part of it, but I want to estimate about four ounces. I think I'm a little light. I mean, two ounces, excuse me. Oh, I'm heavy. I'm heavy. Good. I'm still heavy. Okay, there I am. Okay, now we're going to put that in. I wish it was a bit colder. And we're going to blend that into it. Or chop it up. And on my tomatoes, because it's been so hot, things are slowing down a bit. And I've had the first rush of ripe tomatoes. I've just got uh, probably one or two that I can pick tomorrow that I can see. And then it'll be a few days rest, which is nice. And I also think I, I never know how to tell whether they're ripe, but and it probably isn't, but I was anxious for an eggplant, so I picked it. And I'm going to do something today with it. Okay. So we have that in there. Oak. I should have added my... Um, baking powder and baking soda. I'm going to go light on the baking powder because I'm using bake, um, buttermilk. And that was probably, I don't know how much, half a teaspoon or more. And I'll put in a teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda, baking soda, baking powder. Okay, and I should have added it first.
And on my apple pie, I'll give you another update on that. When it was cold, I thought, and I only, I actually only ate one piece when it was hot. When it came out of the oven, our son was here. And by the time you saw it, half the pie was gone because Tom and my son and I had a piece. We enjoyed the warm pie. And I thought it tasted really nice and sweet then. Cold, I thought maybe it could have had another tablespoon of sugar. I wasn't sure. But Tom didn't think so, so I guess, I guess it was okay. Okay, now we're going to add the kefir to it in place of buttermilk. And that was four ounces. Hello, Mr. Tom. Hi there. And I've got a nice batter in here. Okay. And I think I'll put some flour on the board before I start. It's a little more than I need, probably. Okay. There it is. And you don't want to fuss with biscuit dough very much. And I think that's about it. Okay, and it's going to make... Okay. And I'm just going to cut it. And about six pieces. I'm going to get my stuff out of the oven again, which really didn't probably do much. I'm going to wash my hands first. Well, I can tell they've done a little something, but you know, that hasn't been long enough to do anything. And then I'm just going to put the biscuits on top. And one in the middle. Okay. This is what it looks like at this point. I'm going to Try to sprinkle some sugar on the top of each little biscuit here. I maybe a little more. I think this could be tart, even though those apricots were super sweet. The plums weren't. And maybe that was a mistake. But Tom likes plums, so I don't think it's much of a mistake. And then I just want to, I'm going to have to do it with my fingers. Okay, that's it. I'll put it back in the oven in about 20 minutes. Tom will, or 25, Tom will be eating cobbler for a snack. set the timer okay it's in there and as easy as one two three there it is and that is just really a biscuit dough and uh, it's six ounces of flour 
four ounces of buttermilk or kefir, um, yogurt, and then two ounces or a half a cube of butter and, the, and sugar to taste. And that's it. And the, now the apricots are gone. We have an apricot tree, but this year when it blossomed, it froze. And so they didn't set. But maybe next year. Oh, I don't know what. I'm going to feed that to the chickens. Okay, I'm going to let you go. And so this is one way I'm surviving my 80s. And I hope you enjoy it. And make yourself a fruit co cobbler. Especially if you don't have to worry about your sugar. There. But remember to put cinnamon with it.